In this video, we will learn how to use the iCast Mini's UVC output to connect to a laptop or PC, turning it into a webcam input. And then it can be used as the main video and audio source for video conferencing apps and live streaming. To recap, the Data Video iCast Mini has two video outputs, a HDMI output and a UVC output, which sends video over USB-C. To clarify, it's not sending out a stream. The iCast Mini does not have a built-in encoder, but it is sending a video signal over USB-C. And then you could connect that to your laptop and it will recognize it as a webcam. Perhaps in the past you've seen a HDMI to USB-C or USB 3.0 adapter to have connected to laptops and PCs. The UVC output on the iCast Mini replaces that need and allows you to go directly to a computer using USB-C. To get started, first have your iCast Mini production up and running with your camera and media input connected, as well as your audio. Next, use a USB-C cable to connect the UVC output of your iCast Mini to the USB-C port of your computer. If your computer doesn't have USB-C, but has a USB 3.0 port with the USB-A interface, you can use a USB-C to USB-A adapter cable. Any app that recognizes your computer's webcam as an input will support the iCast Mini as a video and audio source. Let's quickly go over how to use the iCast Mini for some of the most popular applications, starting with OBS. In OBS, select your scene and then add a new device by pressing the plus icon. We're going to add a video capture device as our new audio source. We can call this iCast Mini and press OK. For device, select the 4K Plus Capture HDMI 4K Plus bridge. This is the UVC output of the iCast Mini. Under preset, we can select high or a variety of resolutions here. First, let's just start with HD and press OK. If necessary, resize the image so that it could fill your entire screen. It locked in, and then now, the iCast Mini is being recognized as the primary video source coming into OBS, and as you can see, the microphone input is also recognizing the iCast Mini as the microphone source. A common question that's asked is how to have the iCast Mini output 4K and do a 4K workflow in OBS. So to do that, we're going to erase this device and we're going to add it again as a video capture device. We can call this one iCast Mini 4K. Press OK. Select 4K Capture HDMI 4K Plus Bridge again. And then this time set the resolution to 3840 by 2160. Press OK. Now you may notice that now it's cropped. And this is because the default canvas is usually set to HD. So let's go ahead and change that setting really quick. Go to Preferences for OBS or Settings. And then from here we can go to Video. And you may notice in the drop down menu that 3840 by 2160 isn't supported. And this 3456 by 2234 resolution isn't quite 4K. However, we can manually input the resolution that we want OBS to use in the canvas. And then let's copy that same resolution and apply it to the output scaled resolution as well and press OK. Now OBS is using the iCast Mini's 4K output to create a 4K workflow. From here you can add other sources and then take your OBS production to any video conferencing app or live stream. Next, let's learn how to use the iCast Mini's video and audio feed in Zoom. In Zoom, start by creating a new meeting. So in Zoom, if it wasn't auto-detected, go ahead and choose the 4K Plus Capture HDMI 4K Plus bridge in the video settings on the bottom left. Also for your audio, make sure that the 4K Capture HDMI 4K Plus bridge is selected as well. All right. And now we're using the iCast Mini's output for video and audio in Zoom. Next, let's use the iCast Mini's output to stream via YouTube. In YouTube, go to Go Live. Make sure webcam is selected. 
create a title. We will be just doing a test, so we'll keep the stream private. Now here, ensure that for the video source that the 4K Capture HDMI 4K Plus bridge is selected for video as well as the audio source. Then click on Go Live. And now we're live. Next, let's use the iCast Mini with Microsoft Teams. So I want to join with our computer audio. And when we click on Join Now, if your webcam is selected by default, go to the settings on the right side of the camera icon and go to the 4K Plus Capture HDMI 4K Plus bridge, select that as the source, and then now this is the source. Do the same thing for audio and make sure that the 4K Capture HDMI 4K Plus bridge is selected. And now the iCast Mini is being used as your primary video and audio source for Microsoft Teams. And that concludes our tutorial series in the iCast Mini. Congratulations, you're now an expert in all the features of the Data Video iCast Mini Dual Channel Presentation Switcher.